Hey everyone, welcome back to the Coding Mom. In this video, we are going to learn about how you can add liquidity on Uniswap platform, right? So I'm talking about liquidity of ERC-404 token. As you know, ERC-404 is a hybrid standard which contains properties of uh, ERC-20 as well as ERC-721, right? So NFT can be fractionable uh, in ERC-404 standard, right? So I've seen many comments regarding how you can add Uniswap liquidity. People try to add Uniswap uh, liquidity, but they are not being able to do it. They are not being able to create a pool. So when you want to add liquidity of this ERC-404 standard, you'll need to consider a lot of things, right? So I think because of that, uh, people are not being able to add liquidity. Original ERC-404 repo has some steps to add a liquidity uh, which i had not added in my repository but now i have updated my implementation uh, as well as readme file so you can also go through that but this tutorial is going to help you uh, regarding that how you will be able to trade your erc404 token on uniswap uh, pool so in this video we are going to deploy uh, our erc404 contract on polygon mainnet and i'm going to create a pool onto uniswap and i will buy uh, erc404 tokens from another address so we are going to follow whole process and you will be able to see how you will be able to trade erc404 token and add liquidity into uniswap pool right so that is we are going to look into we are also going to uh, see some of the things which you need to keep in mind and which are the limitations of erc404 as well so that things we are going to discuss right so let's start with the deploying uh, new contract i have created uh, my own version of uh, erc404 which is gradient circle and uh, i'm going to deploy this uh, gradient circle erc404 contract and it has 10000 token i also generated uh, metadata using uh, one of the scripts so it is generating uh, 10000 nfts unique nfts and i have already uploaded those nfts and metadata on ipfs right so we are also going to set token uri uh, for this uh, gradient circle nfts so let's jump into it for deploying a contract you already know from the previous tutorial you need to uh, perform certain commands right so here i am going to write npx harder deploy my erc404 contract but as you know i'm not going to deploy my erc404 contract but i want to deploy gradient circle right so for that i already created certain tasks so my contract name is gradient circle and i have a task uh, to deploy this gradient circle contract. So I'm going to replace this deploy my ERC-404 and deploy gradient circle. I also want to deploy my contract on Polygon. So I have updated my ENV file accordingly and this is going to deploy this contract onto the mainnet. So it might take uh, around 30 seconds of time. Once this contract is deployed, uh, we are going to verify this uh, contract using the verify command or verify task and then this contract implementation will be verified on etherscan so my contract is now deployed on this address and i'm going to open polyscan and try to open that address into polyscan so as you can see uh, my contract is deployed one minute ago now i will try to verify this contract so what i need to do is i need to just update my command to verify from deploy and that will verify my contract onto polyscan once this contract is verified next step is to whitelist my own address the address with which i deployed my contract right so now this contract is verified and i should be able to see all the functions and code of the contract onto the etherscan right so this done now let's try to whitelist my address so again i will just go to my gradient circle task and i'll copy this whitelist on our gradient circle and it will whitelist my address so all this process has been done right whitelisting my own address has been done now i will also set a uh, token uri basically it's a ipfs metadata uri uh, onto this smart contract so i should be able to fetch metadata for specific tokens as well for that i have this command set token uri gradient circle so i'm waiting to 
finish this transaction regarding whitelisting the owner address. So this whitelisting transaction has been done. Now let's also set token URI. So I'm going to copy this command regarding setting the token URI. So as you can see, token URI is also set. Now let's uh, see how you can create a pool, right? So before creating pool, we'll need to know the pool address which is going to be created, right? For that, what, what I've done is I've added some documentation into repository. So to identify or predict the pool address onto the U of the Uniswap pool, uh, we'll need to simulate the transaction, right? So uh, ERC-404 original repo has already provided this. So I'm going to uh, simulate the pool creation transaction using the tender link. So let me open this simulation transaction into new tab and this is for the uh, eth ethereum mainnet what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the uh, addresses according to my polygon mainnet so i'm going to re-simulate this transaction so i've clicked on to this link and i'm going to re-simulate this transaction now to re-simulate the transaction i will need polygon factory address and Polygon factory address is same as uh, Ethereum mainnet. So if I choose Polygon here, now I want to call this create pool function. Uh, it takes three parameters. One is the token address. This will be our ERC-404 token address. Another one is uh, another uh, asset you are going to provide liquidity for, right? Here I'm going to provide Wmatic as my secondary token. And what will be the fee tier? So that I will choose 500 and let me select my ERC-404 contract address. So if I go here, this is my contract which I've created and deployed, right? So I'm going to add this contract address my, as my first param parameter and I will also need to look for WMATIC. So this is the diplomatic address on Polygon so that I'm going to add into second parameter. Now I will need to click on to this simulate transaction and this will basically tenderly will simulate this whole transaction and it will provide us a pool address. So this will be my pool address when I create Uniswap pool from the Uniswap interface, right? So I will also need to whitelist this address. Now let me explain why we need to whitelist this address right so in erc 404 when you transfer your nft from one address to another address it's basically burn nft and mint a new nft now what we have done is we have whitelisted the owner address the address which contains all the tokens right so no tokens are going to burn from that address right so whenever i transfer my tokens from my address which is the owner of all the tokens currently i'm i'm not going to call the burn function into smart contract right and whenever I want to provide a liquidity, I will need to transfer my tokens to the pool address, right? So uh, this is basically to save the gas fees, right? And when somebody buys some token, right? Then those tokens are being transferred from pool to their address. At that time, we don't want to burn tokens from pools as well, right? So new NFTs are going to mint into the account address who is minting or buying the new tokens. But when you transfer tokens or transfer tokens from pool address, it's not going to burn or it's not going to mint new NFTs. That's why we need to whitelist this pool address as well and which is going to save us some gas, right? Also, one thing we need to keep in mind that each blockchain has gas limit for their block, right? So in, on Polygon and Ethereum, they have 30 million uh, gas limitation. So we cannot mint all the NFT into one transaction because it exceeds gas limit of the block. That's why whenever people try to add liquidity of ERC-404 token, they are not being able to add liquidity because they have not whitelisted the token addresses or pool addresses. And in the sing single transaction, they are trying to mint all the NFT, which is not possible, which, is, which basically doesn't come under the rule that uh, blockchain is defied of the gas limit, right? That's why we need to whitelist this pool address. So let me go into my task and replace the signer dot address 
with my pool address and I will perform this whitelist owner task onto my CLI. So this will basically whitelist the pool address into my smart contract. So whenever I transfer NFT to the pool, it will not mint any NFT. And I also whitelisted my owner address, token owner, owner address. So it will also not burn any NFT. So that's why we will be able to provide liquidity to Uniswap. So my pool address is now whitelisted. Now we are ready to add liquidity onto Uniswap. So let me select my Dave account. I'm going to go to the Uniswap interface. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to these pools and create a new position. I'm also going to select the deployer account, which is this one and going to reload again and yeah i'm going to now select this metic as and i need to enter my smart contract address so which is this this is the erc404 contract when i add this address here it will give me this gradient circle option and i click on to this i understand now as you know that I have set 500 as my feet here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to provide liquidity into full range. And here we'll need to add initial price of our gradient circle NFT. So with one metric, you will be able to buy 1000 gradient circles. And I'm going to provide liquidity with the 10 metric. So that will basically provide liquidity with all the tokens I have. So that I'm not going to do. I'm going to provide five metric as liquidity and I'm going to provide liquidity of 5,000 gradient circle tokens, right? Now I need to approve my gradient circle to spend the tokens. Okay, my approval has been done. Now I will see the preview of liquidity. So I'm providing five metric worth of liquidity for 5,000 gradient circles. My fee here is 0.05. Current price is 999 gradient circle per metric. Now let me confirm this transaction and I will need to pay this much amount of gas fee and 5 metric. So let me confirm that and transaction has been submitted. Let's check it on to the blockchain explorer. So it's pending and it should be confirmed in a minute. So on the Uniswap interface, it says liquidity is added. If I Go to my pool so as you can see we have now added liquidity successfully so these are the basically steps which you will need to follow to add the liquidity if i go here transaction should be confirmed if we go to the pool address which we have created if i go to the pool address it should contain wmatic so this is my pool address and let me so as you can see now it has wmatic into the pool contract and this pool address should be also owner of 5000 tokens so if i go to my gradient circle contract here and if i call balance of function and add pool address here then you'll be able to see this pool owns this much amount of tokens right so now we have added liquidity into our pool, right? So now we should be able to buy these gradient circle tokens uh, from the Uniswap pool, right? So let me connect to my other wallet address. And if I go to Swap, I will need to enter this gradient circle address. And I want to buy basically a fraction of NFTs. So if I want to buy 0 0.001 gradient circle, then I will need to pay this much amount of matic, right? So this is the basically one of the feature of ERC-404, right? You can buy fraction of NFTs or fraction of token as well. Now, whenever you, you have a full token, whenever you have one GC, at that time only NFT will be minted into your account. Other than that, that NFT will not be minted in your account. Whenever you own full fraction of gradient circle token, then and then you will have NFT in your account until and unless it will not 
have any owner you are owner of the token now if i want to buy one gc i will just add here one and uh, i will be able to buy this one nft using this much amount of matic now i click on to this swap i should be able to do this confirm swap right because i'm buying one gc now if i want to buy 100 gradient circle right so that transaction will say insufficient liquidity for this trade now why this is happening is we are minting 100 gradient circles into one transaction and that is exceeding the block gas limit that's why i'm not being able to mint 100 gradient circles in just one go right so we can say that this is the limitation as well as this feature so no well can buy all the gradient circles or all the erc404 token in just one transaction they will need to perform multiple transactions right so if i try to buy 10 gradient circle then i will be able to do it so let me buy this 10 gradient circle so let me do one thing i want to buy with another address which is this address and let me confirm this swap i need to pay this transaction fees and it's done and if i go to uniswap my transaction is confirmed and if you see that we have minted 10 number of nfts and it's transfer to my account now all right my account is disabled by OpenSea. that's why i was trying with another account but as you can see this nfts are basically minted here let me show you somehow these nfts so i'm going to open any collection here i'm going to do matic I'm going to add my gradient circle address. My token ID is one. And it should show gradient circle NFT here. So as you can see, this is owned by this account. This NFT is uh, into this account. And this is the NFT uh, which I have minted. If I go to the second number of NFT, I should be able to see that as well right so this nfts i bought on uniswap but it contains in my account so this is how you can provide liquidity to the uniswap of your erc404 contract so uh, now you have a whole idea of uh, how you can provide liquidity how you can uh, whitelist your liquidity pool and how you can predict the pool address as well so all these things you will need to consider whenever you are trying to uh, deploy as well as provide liquidity to uniswap protocol okay i think this is it this i wanted to show in this video let me know if I can be of any help while deploying your ERC-404 contract or if you are facing any issue regarding liquidity, just uh, leave comments or you can contact me on my email as well. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, like this video, uh, leave comments if you have any questions and share this video with the developers who are interested in working on the ERC-404 contract, right? So thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you soon with the new video. Thank you.